And then black people feel ashamed. I know I grew up in, in a family, my grandmother, uh, uh, her parents were slaves, and she did not like to talk about it. It's, it was as if by evoking it, you would bring it back into being. But if you don't talk about it, if you don't understand it, you're bound to recapitulate uh, the horrors and the pain and the suffering of slavery. The failure to abolish slavery has not only enabled so many forms of racism, not just anti-black racism, but, but Islamophobia, anti-Muslim racism, uh, 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 anti-Latino racism, anti-Asian racism. And it has also enabled patri patriarchal, heterosexist, transphobic, and other violations of human rights. The few short years of radical reconstruction from 1865 to 1877, that was the most radical era in the history of this country. And most of us know absolutely nothing about it. There is no popular discourse that allows us to evoke that era as the most important moment in the history of this country. So we don't know about uh, uh, the struggle for education that took place during that time. We don't know about the efforts to achieve women's equality that happened in legislatures, state legislatures all over the South when former slaves were elected to those legislatures, uh, people like D.W. Griffith, whose birth of a nation created the ideas that are still with us. Uh, everybody should see that as well. Because that was the first major film in this country. And that film, that racist film that has all the stereotypes. But you know what Birth of a Nation is about, right? You know that it was based on this uh, novel called, Thomas Dixon's novel called The Klansman. And Birth of a Nation was about the rebirth of this nation in the aftermath of radical reconstruction. And that rebirth was symbolized by the ascendancy of the Ku Klux Klan. 